Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jonathan from Help Their Support. Today, I'm going to share with you the deferral function in there. Hope the deferral function can help your daily operation. So if you have any question, please raise your question during Q&A session. Okay, for the training agenda of deferral function, we will first walk through the deferral template setup. Second, we will have a scenario to defer expenses through purchase invoice. And finally, we will have another scenario to defer payment from customer through general journal. So for the deferral function in NEF, the functionality is to help you to defer revenues and expenses automatically. It will help users to save their time for more important tasks. Apart from that, the function will also avoid missing any defer payment. So normally, company will have defer payment when company subscribe insurance or paying installments. So you can use this function to defer the payment into months with one-time posting. Otherwise, you would need to post transactions every month until fully paid. So this function is also applicable to defer payment from customer. So sometimes customer might request to pay installments to your company. So you can also use the deferral function to defer payment from customer until fully paid. Before we start the first step, we have to know the required permission for deferral function and today's scenario. So you will need to need the permission to access deferral template, chart of account, general journal, and purchase invoice. So today we will be using the latest version of Dynamic 365 Business Central for our demo. So before using the deferral function, user need to set up a deferral template. The deferral template will need user to predefine the amount percentage to defer and the period for the deferred payment or payment from customer. So this is the print screen of deferral template. When in deferral template card, you can see general fast step and deferral schedule fast step. For the general first step, we need to insert the deferral code, description of the deferral template, and deferral account. So for the deferral account, it's a temporary GL account for deferred payment. So defer pay, the deferred amount will credit into temporary account and will debit deferred amount from the account, from the GL account, when the system posts the deferred payment. So for the deferral schedule first step, we need to define the percentage of amount to defer, the calculation method for the defer amount, and the start date for the defer payment start. So the number of period to defer for payments, and finally the description of each period when the system posts the deferred transactions. So here is the explanation for each of the fields. For the calculation method, there are four methods. The first one is straight line, which is the calculation method that will calculate the deferred amount based on period length. For equal, P, for equal per period method, the deferred amount will be deferred evenly based on period. So for days per period, the system will calculate the deferred amount based on how many days of the month. For example, when we post a deferred payment in January, the system will calculate 31st days. And for April, the system will calculate 30 days. So uh, for the user defined method, user can change the deferred amount for each of the period. For example, uh, on January, user set the deferred amount to 300 ringgit. On February, user can set the default amount to 500 ringgit. So based on what the user need. Lah. So for the start date, there are four options for user to choose from. 
user can choose the deferred payment start from posting date. For example, you suppose the deferred amount by today, which is 28th of May. So 28th of every month, the system will post the transaction automatically. So if you choose beginning for of the period, if you suppose on today, it will start on 1st of May. So every first day of the month, the system will post the deferred transactions. So if you choose end of the period, if you suppose the deferred transaction today, the system will start posting on 31st of May. So for the last option, which is the beginning of next period, if user post deferred payment today, the system will post transactions on the first day of next month. So for the number of period, user can define the payment to differ by how many periods. So for period description field, user can define the description when system posts the deferred transaction automatically. So below is the formula to include in description. User can insert the value for the system to include date in the description when posting transaction. So you do not need to memorize the value. We will send you the link. You can check the value from the link through the recorded video. So I will create a new deferral template for our scenario one. So this is our Dynamic 365 Business Central. So the first step, we need to click on the search button and then insert deferral template. So all the existed deferral template will list in this page. For our scenario, I will create a new deferral template by clicking the new button. So for the different code, we will insert. We will insert in car insurance. So for the description, I will insert car insurance. So this is the different account. So we need to insert the GL account that for different function, which is a temporary account, which is three one. So different percent we will set to one hundred percent. The calculation method we will choose equal per period. The posting date will start at the beginning of period. So the number of period will be 12. So the description will be car insurance. Percentage six. Is, uh, we have created the different template card. So this different template card is for our scenario one. So once everything had insert, so we click back to save the default template. We'll move on to scenario one. So in scenario one, we will defer expenses through purchase invoice. So the senior is a business manager subscribed car insurance for company and receive an invoice from insurance provider. The annual insurance cost of for the car insurance is 24,000 annually and insurance provider agreed the company to make payment monthly. So once we receive the invoice from vendor, we need to create a new purchase invoice as usual. So we click on the search bar and insert purchase invoice.
So we click new to create a new purchase invoice. So in our new purchase invoice, we need to insert the details of invoice as usual. So after insert, insert all the details, wait, let me choose the vendor first. So we would choose GL account and choose for the car insurance. So the quantity is one and the unit cost is 24,000. So in the different code, you if uh, your system don't have the different code column, you should add the column in the purchase line. So after added the column into the purchase line, we will select the different code we just uh, created. And to check the details for the deferral, we will click on line related information and deferral schedule. And in this page, we will see all the details for the default payment. So if there is no issue, we will close the page and post the purchase invoice. So to check the posted details, we can go to the posted purchase invoice. And in the posted purchase invoice, we click on invoice and find entries. So from here, we can see the posted default amount in GL after clicking the number of entries. So the the insurance will be credited into the insurance account and the system will also credit the amount into the temporary account we created in our different template. And after that, the system will debit the account back from the debit the account from the car insurance geo account. And finally, the system will create a uh, debit the amount from vendor card. So to to check to check uh, the posting from the system, we need to remove the posting date. The reason for removing the posting date is because the posting date filtered those entry posted in future. So after we remove the posting date, we click on find. Then uh, we can see the, G, the number of entries under GL entry has changed to 28. So once we click into the number of entries, we can see all the, all the transactions posted into each of the GL account. And we can see the default amount had been posted by the system automatically into different months. So we have done our scenario one. Let us move on to scenario two. In scenario two, we will defer payment received by customer through general journal. For scenario two, one of the customer had subscribed machine maintenance plan from the company. The annual value for the maintenance package is 36,000 and customer requested to make six months prepayment for the maintenance plan. This scenario, we will now go to general journal. So we click on the search button and insert general journal. 
So in the general journal, we need to insert the journal line as usual. First, we check on the posting date. to 2021 and for the document type we will select payment and for the account we will select a maintenance package account so for the balance account type we will choose the customer and you select spot measures Okay, for the different code, we will select a different code that we created earlier. So, which is maintenance package. So, if we want to check the details of all the different amount, so we can click on actions, click on functions, and go to different schedule. So, all the configuration for the different template will be showing here and the default amount sorry i forgot to insert the amount 36000 so we click on actions click on functions and go to default schedule and because uh the calculation method was set to days per period so we can see each of the date each of the month have different amount so once we check the value, everything is okay, then we will close the page and post the journal line. Okay. So right now we need to check the result for the posted GL entries. So we in, click on the search button and insert deferral. So now we see three of the reports here. So for GL deferral summary, we will able to see all the deferral posted with GL accounts in the system. So for sales deferral summary, we, the report will show those deferred transactions which under which posted under sales. And for purchase deferral summary, the report will show those deferred transactions which posted under purchase. So for this scenario, we will choose the GL deferral summary. So we change the balance as of date and we click on preview. Okay, from this report, we can see all the deferred amount, the number of period, the start date uh, for the deferred payment. So after the system posted the deferred payment, the payment will be shown in here, amount recognized. So this is the total amount deferred and this is the remaining balance. So if after a few months, then when we check for the report again, then it will show another value. So we're back to the report so after oh sorry i generate the wrong report So after two months, the report will show the remaining amount that haven't been deferred.
So for our summary, the deferral function can be used in both sales order and purchase order, the sales invoice and purchase invoice. The deferral function can also be used when purchasing or selling any items. The function will help user to defer payment with simple steps and post transactions automatically, which help user to save a lot of time.